hello my lovely viewers welcome back today I have a review for you on something that I think is gonna be a game changer for me um, you know I have a handmade business you know ebonnets by Ebony Curl and I'm sure you've probably heard me in a video or two saying you know my hands hurt me real bad around the time I was pregnant I made a video about it um, and my doctor always said he didn't think it was from sewing it was from cutting so much all the time and I have help now I have a few people that work for me but um, I still do a lot of the cutting myself because I don't want my fabric to get miscut and if it did I would be mad at them so I try to still cut the majority of fabric um, not all but the majority of it so uh, I went to one of my wholesalers to order some fabric and um, I noticed that they had something on the website that I never thought of before <clears throat> so it is these electric cordless scissors so I don't have to do all the work um, and snip snip snipping the scissors will do the work for me so I'm going to unbox this and um, I'm gonna try it out all right I'm back um, and I have the overhead camera set up and I'm just cutting through the little plastic wrap film that's on it. And I said that I saw it on my wholesaler's website. I didn't order this from the wholesaler's website because after that I googled them and I found these. <clears throat> One reason I bought them because these were pink and pink's my favorite color so that sold me. Um, but um, these came from Amazon and they were $36.99 um, and it said that it cuts through cardboard, leather, plastic, metal, fabric, paper, and more. I wish they would have kind of specified what the and more is, though. I would have liked to know, like, what other things it would cut through. So now I'm just going to have to test it out on certain things to see if it'll work. <clears throat> so this is the box. Let's go ahead and open her on up. All right. All right, so let us fix it. So it comes with a contact number in case something's wrong or if you're not happy with it. A little sticker to promote their brand. And here is the manual. And these are the operating instructions. Charging the battery pack, charging indication, removal, removal and insertion of the battery on and off trigger changing the blades and on the back it has the tool safety okay so I just read that it was shipped with a low charge so I thought I was gonna have to charge it before I tried it but um I think I'm gonna just try it now with the charge that it comes in so it looks like this is the actual battery part and it just sticks in here like that so that's the battery pack and if you take the guard off the scissors Uh, it works so yeah so I'm gonna stick the guard back on and if you pull the battery back out this is the battery uh, charger and I just stuck the little plug in here so this is the part that goes to the wall and it, look, it looks like you can just stick this little guy on in here and it charges like this so I'm gonna pull this back out and I'm going to stick this back in here and I'm going to see how it works on some fabric. And it said that <clears throat> there are two blades. Here's the other blade. So if you see one has like a half moon shape right here. And this one has a full circle. I don't know if you can see it with my camera. There it is. Um, but the O shape... The full circle is the scissor head for soft, flexible material like fabric. And then the D shape, which is the half moon um, scissor head, is for rigid material. So I assume that's for um, the cardboard and leather and plastic, metal, all that stuff. So I'm going to keep the O shape one in, the full moon scissor head shape in. And I'm going to try to cut some fabric. Alright, so I'm back and I have a few swatches of material. This one is some waterproof like polyvinyl 
um, material. I use it for the shower caps that I make and it's actually a few layers of it like combined together. So I'm going to see how it cuts like with um, the layers together. This is four. It's four layers in here. I don't know if you can see but yeah. It's two right here and two here. It's four layers. <clears throat> and I have some satin. This is some cotton and this is like some jersey knit uh, Ponte Roma type material. So I'm going to see how it cuts. So, so first I'm going to take the waterproof material and I'm going to try to cut it and see how it does. Alright, let's do it. It cut that really good. So let's see what happens when you double it up. And that cut fine. So I'm going to double it over again. <clears throat> Now the noise, if I'm working late at night and my baby is asleep, I don't know about the noise. But maybe if I shut my uh, workshop door, she'll be alright. Alright, next let's try the satin. This is what I'm anxious to see how it works. Um, let's cut two layers together since most things are double lined. Let's go for it. Well, actually, this is four layers. This would be two layers. Oh, yeah. Gravy works like a charm. Let's fold it over and do four layers. Four times two, eight layers. Eight layers worked perfectly, so this would be sixteen. I feel it cutting a lot slower, but it's cutting. All right, this is the cotton broadcloth type. So. Let's see how it works on the cotton with one layer. Okay. All right, it worked on the cotton. So I folded over for two layers on that little small swatch. So this one I'm going to fold it and do so that's two layers four layers let's go so four folded over would be eight And hands feel better already. Um, so yeah, I already did some satin, so I don't have to do that piece. Um, and the last one that I have is um, the Pontaroma. It's kind of like a 
really high quality jersey knit material. This is what I noticed a lot of like pencil skirts are made out of now. Wendy Williams actually has um, a clothing line and she makes her pencil skirts out of Pontaroma. It's such a nice material, but whatever. Um, so let's cut uh, one piece. that's too easy oh, so this is two pieces you know it's easy when you're holding it in your hand like this but I think about people that cut with patterns like if you're making a shirt or a blouse and you have to lay that pattern over it you're probably gonna have to like pin that pattern to the fabric and then carefully like don't let these get away from you to go too far into, um, you know, the meat of your project or whatever. All right, I'm back. I had to get another piece of that ponta. It was way too small. So where was I? Two pieces, four pieces. Yeah, same thing um, as the satin like you can feel it cutting slower but it's definitely getting the job done um, this is pretty neat man where have you been all my life little electric cordless scissors oh my goodness all right so I think I've did a pretty good job uh, testing a lot of the things that I use let's see I use satin I use some cotton um, waterproof this I use for um, those little bow turbans seasonal items um, okay so I just read how I can change the blade so you just hold these two release buttons here with this hand like that and then you take this part and push up and this should pop right out okay hold these down push this up and the blade pops right out there you go and so then you just take this and you just push back and it should snap right on alright so there it is so let me find some cardboard and I'll be right back alright I have some cardboard so I'm gonna go ahead and get started and see how it works cutting it so let's go <laughs> Awesome. You know what I'm curious to see? Like if I was to draw a line, how well will it work like cutting on that line? Let's so I'm gonna take this in and I'm just gonna draw a line, a straight line like this. Yeah, let's see how well it does this little here. And make one here. <laughs> That's not bad at all. I just want to do a full circle and I want to see how it'll cut it out. So Hmm. All right. 
right so it cut my little circle out so yeah all right so after i've cut with it it doesn't feel hot but it kind of has a smell to it like i don't know if it's because it's new and i just used it it has like a metallic smell maybe it's the smell of the cardboard being cut but um i smell something different but um i am in love i'm excited to get to work with this i'm gonna let it charge up for an hour um i did see some people say it needed like to charge for like an hour um some people said and i saw a review where somebody said like three hour charge but mine came already charged and i'm really excited about it i'm about to switch this blade out back to the fabric blade and then i'm gonna um i'm gonna charge it for a while and then i'm gonna get some work done hey guys so i just tried it with my you know fabric for my orders routine stuff and oh my gosh i am in love with this thing um i'm gonna order another pair like i the volume of work that I do, I need two pair of these things. Yeah, I need two pair. Um, sorry. But yeah, um, I did a little bit of work with it. <clears throat> and now it's charging. Um, let me show you the charging indicator. Just a second. Let me flip this over. Okay. So, I had to charge it in this little outlet plug here. So, it's going well here. And it has this little light indicator on letting you know that it's charging and here it is like i'm in love in love with it um best thing ever right now i hope you guys have enjoyed this review thanks so much for watching and i'll see you guys later bye